So thank you very much for the invitation. Et avant mon exposé, je voudrais remercier beaucoup Monsieur le Professeur Inuzé euh, pour son encouragement pendant ma thèse et après et joyeux anniversaire, grand papa Yahaf. Euh, donc euh, aujourd'hui, je vais parler cohomologie de Jean de Stuka. Uh, we know that uh, our uh, number field will have the uh, similar varieties. Uh, so analog, our function field will have the stack of Stuka's. So we, um, today we will uh, stay on uh, function field. So here is our uh, function field. Uh, let x be a, a curve over a finite field. Uh, smooth. Projective geometrically. Connected curve over finite field as Q of characteristic P. And let J uh, be a, a reductive group over FQ. So um, uh, X and J are our setting. Uh, we will also need the long down due group of J. QL, so QL will be our um, coefficient field. Mm. And uh, the stack of Stuka is that for any finite set, I uh, and any and representation any um, QL linear representation W of uh, G, G power I, uh, which is uh, I copy of So for any um, I and W, we associate a stack of Stuka. Mm. 
so uh, it depends on the group. The, and I and W, uh, it is a algebraic stack over I copy of the curve. We call this map the morphism um, of pause. So this is stack of Shiduka without level structure. And um, now let n be a, a finite sub, sub scheme of x, be a level structure. So uh, this is the stack of Shiduka with level structure associated to I and W. Uh, it is an algebraic stack over I copy of the curve uh, uh, minus the level N. This and this, they are uh, Dunini Manford algebraic stack. Locally of finite type. In general, uh, the stack of Stuka is not smooth. Um, but we will say it doesn't matter because its singularity is the same as the singularity of Benison Junfield of Grassmannian, and we will use uh, some uh, IC shift on it. Uh, so that's not a problem. But in general, it is not um, proper to, and we will see that uh, this uh, causes some problem. Uh, so uh, now the shift. Uh, We have a uh, we have a canonical shift on stack of Stuka comes from a geometric set K equivalence. of Minkovic Revolver.
Uh, an example of the shift on top new is irreducible. And uh, uh, when the stack is purple, This canonical shift is just uh, the IC shift, the uh, intersection complex. And which is just the constant shift, the QL constant shift, with some decalage. And the decalage is the relative dimension of this morphism. When one defines the Stuka, so it's a generalization of Dreamfeld, but I, I, I think you use only the isomorphism class. So, uh, uh, yeah, maybe I could. So, I think that the, the data of W gives you the type of modification you do at the point, but this is for W irreducible, or I, I'm a little bit confused um, about it. Uh, um, it's for general W. We can first define a stack of Stuka for W irreducible. And then for general Stuka, we have this relation. You just take the union. We can use this as a definition for, uh, for W not irreducible. But then it uh, it uh, depends on the way you write. I mean, it's it's not really. Yeah, it's it's uh, not really a, a invariant under automorphism of W because you have automorphisms. I mean, uh, yeah, it's not the notation is a little bit misleading. It's, yeah, it's defined up to isomorphism, but not. Uh, or uh, we have another definition of Shiduka, and in fact, uh, I just think this. Uh, what is the canonical is the uh, uh, geometric Sadaki equivalence. Uh, so, uh, this gives us uh, the relation for the, the shift. Uh, is functorial on W. The shift is canonical defi defined and functorial on W. And we can, in fact, we even not need to define Stuka W. We can, uh, if we want, we can define this uh, as the support of this shift. Uh, we can define uh, Stuka without W. Which means, uh, if you want, we can have ah, it's not a disjoint union; it's just a union. It's just union. It's just union. Ah, inside the world, okay. Uh, so for for the shift, for example, it's the it's the direct zone. So it's just union. Ah, okay, I misunderstood. I said you take this joint. Okay. Uh, so if you have the same shift um, direction with itself, uh, it's just uh, the support is not changed. For example, when when you have okay. two copies of the shift, the support is the same. That's why in general it's not the IC shift. It may be the the sum of the IC shift. Ah, okay, and, and uh, when you take the union, it is in which sense? It's schematic union? Uh, it's just a union of uh, of uh, sub-stack of this. If you have the same copy, uh, the union is, is itself. 
It is the smallest closed. Is it a closed substance? No. Those uh, are uh, locally closed. Okay. Uh, each of this is a closed substance of this. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Uh. Okay, so it's a union. Okay, that, but only the. the Uh, and what no, and what is important uh, for our to define the cohomology? In fact, uh, it's not. We not really need the support. We only need the shift. So uh, that's why I didn't write down the process definition of Stuka. It's really the shift which matters. Uh, Yes, so that's an uh, alternative definition of this. Uh, this is an uh, unstack if we don't have W. Uh, so we. So, so the case when the uh, stack of the car is, is proper, does that mean this is the, just the case when the value is minuscule? Uh, when W is minuscule, it's uh, it's proper, and when W is not minuscule, perhaps it may also be proper. Okay. Uh, for example, if you have a deviation algebra. If you have what? If J is a division algebra ah. and uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. has some process, process condition when Stuka is proper. Mm -hmm. And the cohomology. Or the relative cohomology shift, mm -hmm. which is for degree J, for example, it's a direct image of this shift. Since the stack is only locally of finite type, so this is the inductive limit of contractible shift over, or I copy of the curve. So the process definition use uh, Hata Nashman stratification. So I will not process easy uh, here. Mm, uh, we just uh, remember that it is an inductive limit of contractible shifts. Try to write the result in this one and not move it. So uh, now uh, I will give the result and uh, a conjecture. Uh, 
uh, the theory is that this shift is and this over a copy of the curve. Uh, here, uh, and this means inductive limit of uh, this shift. And which is uh, equivalent to say that uh, for any geometric point, and then. Uh, Specialization map the induced morphism. Is it important to work with QL coefficients uh, or there is also a version with uh, torsion with? You can have QL uh, coefficient or ZL coefficient or finite coefficient. Okay. Uh, the proof is essentially the same. There are some places we need mm, to more argument for ZL coefficient, but it's uh, the idea are the same. Mm. And uh, so this is the theorem, uh, and uh, we want to go. Uh, so in the rest of the talk, I will talk about the proof of this theorem, but before uh, go to the proof, I would like to uh, state a conjecture, uh, which is a more general, which is a further step of this. Uh, it's a conjecture about the nearby circles. Mm, so uh, begin by an example. Um, for I singleton so uh, recall that in this case we have uh, Stuka uh, without level over X and we have uh, We can we have the Stuka wins level, which is on this. We have shift. On this, and uh, the theorem says that the direct image of this shift is smooth over this. Uh, and there is 
a map between so if we take the restriction of our uh, stack without level to this uh, we have a map this is a, a Galois cover uh, it's a finite et al Galois cover uh, we have we can consider the direct image of our shift on this. Mm. If we take a geometric point in an uh, outside level, so let eta be the generic point of X. Theorem says uh, we have this canonical map. So uh, the theorem uh, said that for any this, um, but we we have some other morphism. We can view this as, as this. Uh, we have a map to the the nearby cycle of this and uh, so this is adjection and this is a canonical map uh, from the direct image of nearby cycle to the nearby cycle of direct image. Mm. In our case this is an isomorphism because the shift on Stuka is locally a cyclic. Mm. So now uh, we see that if the stack of Stuka is proper, then this is uh, this is isomorphism. So the specialization is uh, is isomorphism. So we have the theorem. That's why for Stuka, uh, when Stuka is proper, the theorem is uh, is easy.
Mm. And what now we are interested in what happens on the level. So uh, we will take a point in the level. So if we take a, a point on the level, we no longer have this part. Our face is not defined on it, but we still have this. This ah, I forgot to call it. So uh, in this case. have a canonical morphism. the same uh, as the star map. Uh, the remark is if the stack of Stuka is proper, this is an isomorphism. And the uh, conjecture is that, uh, in general, no matter Stuka is proper or not, this is always an isomorphism. So in general, the R psi is not uh, well behaved because one can define it. But uh, so Gogozupul, after some modification, and as a good theory of uh, vanishing cycle. So in general, you can define it as, as uh, using minimal fibers, but it is maybe not constructible even. Uh, and so uh, it is difficult uh, to define it for QL coefficients if it is not, but... Uh, uh, when, when I say in general, I, I'm always in the case when it's singleton. No, no, yeah, no, but uh, I'm asking about the definition of outside. Uh, uh, when the base is only a uh, tie, ah, one, one, in one dimension it's well defined, and in several several dimension, uh, it's true that we need the uh, nearby cycle for our uh, general base, uh, and uh, there is also a formulation of the conjecture. It's more complicated, so I will not write down, but we can formulate a version for general case. So now uh, this, uh, I, I s this in general, I just want to say when it's proper or not. So the conjecture is that uh, this is an isomorphism. So uh, in the rest of the time, I will talk about the proof of the theorem. Uh, 
and um, we hope that the proof, uh, so the proof use uh, not at all the compatibility, it uses the Roho lemma and the action of partial forbiddenness morphism. Uh, There will be land to <laughs> uh, So to prove the theorem, we need a population. Uh, so a fact I didn't see. is that the the cohomology is equipped with the action of the Heiker algebra. Um, by the Heiker correspondence, like the Heiker correspondence for Shimura varieties. Um, Moreover, it uh, is equipped with the action of the partial forbidden morphism. is a very special property of uh, the Stuka and of the cohomology of Stuka. Mm. I don't have time to uh, give the definition of this, so I just said in one sentence is that their composition is uh, total forbidden. So it's some, uh, it's like we cut, cut the total forbidden in some pieces. Uh, the proposition is that uh, the generic geometric fiber of this cohomology is equipped with the action of a V group of power I. So f is a function field. Uh, so the v group is a v group in the Galois group. So uh, we have Galois group for the function field. f is a function field of x. Uh, and the v group is just the v group inside this. Proof of uh, uh, the proposition use the action of the partial Fubini's morphism.
the Ashlu Shimura relation. Uh, and uh, uh, one round of Junfield's lemma. Uh, so in one word, is that Junfield's lemma uh, tell you that if you have the action of partial forbidden morphism, then you get an action of a copy of the function field, the V group of the function field. And actually, Shimura relation is used to prove some finiteness property to apply Junfield's lemma. Uh, so that's the population, and we will use this to prove the theory. Uh, to simplify, we only talk about uh, the case of I uh, synchrotron here. The general idea are the same. And we suppose uh, there is no level to simplify the, just simplify the notation. Mm, so in this case, we have a Stuka with one power. W is a um, representation of g sharp j height. It is over x. Um, what we need to prove is that for any geometric point, Specialization map. I don't rest that I let no more the small j and to simplify the notation. So we want to prove that uh, this is an isomorphism. Uh, our strategy is that we will construct uh, inverse homomorphism from this to this and prove that the, uh, the new morphism is the inverse of this one. So 
So that's how we construct the inverse. We have cohomology of Stuka with one leg. We begin from this one and it turns out a contract constant cohomology. We have a creation operator. So by the by the creation operator of Vincent Lafogue, we can arrive in cohomology of Stuka with three legs. For first leg the uh, morphism the representation is W. For second leg, the representation is due of W. For third leg, the representation is W. So this is cohomology over three copies of the curve. I restrict it to this. So first leg is on eta bar, uh, second and third leg uh, are on xi. So this a map we call it creation map. Uh, so I will I will explain what is this. So the cohomology is factorial on the representation. Uh, so W is a representation of G hat. W dual is dual representation. And this is a trivial representation. And this morphism is a canonical morphism from trivial representation to this tensor product. So. Uh, we create two legs uh, on two and three. And then I will explain later. Uh, a map uh, for the moment I let it like this. To so the cohomology are the same, but now the first and second leg are on eta bar, the third leg are on x i, x x bar. So it seems like that I just move the second leg from x bar to eta bar by the specialization map. Uh, I will explain this later. Mm. As a way. Uh, and then I uh, cancel first and second legs. They are both on eta bar. I, I will have an uh, annulation, annulation operator send this to Stuka with only sec the third leg on x i. So this is an annulation operator where I annulate first and second leg. Uh, I will explain this.
associated to the evaluation morphism. And it may be more clear if I go to the So this is the new morphism that I construct from a uh, cohomology, the generic fiber to the special fiber. And now I want to prove that this is the inverse of this one. Uh, what I do is I put this here. So uh, we have the specialization, right? Mm. Here uh, we can create, uh, use the same creation operator. Note that now uh, the second and third legs are on xi. So what I arrive is the cohomology of Stuka with three legs, but all the legs are on xi. Then I use annihilation operator to annihilate first and second legs. They are on xi. And the third legs are on x. Uh, and here, I have the specialization for the constant shift, which is an uh, uh, identity. Uh, and when I contract this, I will show that all this uh, commute. I will explain this later. Uh, but just look at for. This, uh, for this, we have a very good thing is the Zoho lemma. Zoho lemma, I will now explain. Mm -hmm. Zoho lemma. So first, it is a lemma for um, vector space. So let W be a. QL vector space, vector space. Mm. We have the following composition. Mm. From W to So the mm, so this first W sent to the first W, and the QL sent to uh, W dual times W by the data, and uh, this is the same as. Now I look at first and second together and use evaluation for these two and identity for the third. I arrive in this. And the Zoho Lemma says that the composition is identity. Uh, okay, so this is the general thing about dualizer for the same. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's it's a uh, and since the cohomology is functorial on W, I didn't say before. So this uh, directly gave us a Zoho lemma for the cohomology. Mm. 
if I come from cohomology with So KL is a constant shift on the curve by creation operator. Um, this is over x3 and we restrict it to x. Then by the annulation operator. This is identity. Uh, so we know that. We know that this is identity. So this gives one thing of the inverse. So this gives the inverse on one side, and then you have to do the other. Uh, in the other side, we uh, we still have this, but on the other side, you put a restriction on eta bar. Uh, all the three legs are on eta bar. And, the, and then you claim that the similar argument works. Yes. I have no time. Uh, okay. So I think I have no time to write down the other set, but the other set, you have this, you have specialization here, and you have all the, you, you have the Zoho lemma, but for the restriction on eta bar, you replace all this x bar by eta bar, and you put it here. Uh, I use the uh, last uh, one minute, perhaps, to explain this, if you want. And because on the other side, we will only need this and some similar map. And this is related to a question I posed to Professor in the last year. We know that uh, uh, let S be a tie, uh, strict uh, Hansa tie. And we fix, uh, so it has this, we fix a uh, geometric generic point because we fix specialization map. And we know that uh, if if you have a, a shift on shift on S, then it is given by its restriction on special point on generic point and. Uh, a Galois environment uh, map. Equivalent map. And now if I have a shift uh, product of two tie, and if I suppose my shift is constant over this, And this is an integral scheme. Uh, then my shift is given by such a diagram. Commute. My shift is by this gut 
these four pieces and the diagram commute uh, and all is ga Galois equivalent. And then you can You can guess that if now I have a shift on uh, three copy of ten, and I suppose all this piece are constant. So you think about the trail like. Uh, the strict initialization of the curve when you take the product over the ground field or over yeah over FP bar. Oh yes, everything is over F. Every product is over F Q bar. Okay. And the tie, in fact, I think it's this. Give by a give give by a cube like this. Uh, I don't have time to write, but uh, And you have some other thing here. You have a cube, uh, and uh, here we get over this map because. Uh, yeah, so you have to use something like Drinfeld lemma or some version to know that the shapes are constant. And yes. So because of partial for when you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So this is uh, the proposition. It's where we need the population uh, or some variant of the population by the Junfield lemma. We show that over shift the. So in our case, we will not need this. We will use only this. Apply it to this. And by the population, we show that over shift is constant over all these things. And we have. This and on in the cube we can find all the canonical map that we want. So now it is a, a zero. Map. That's all. Sorry for the time. Okay. So thank you very much for this uh, beautiful lecture. Thank you very much. <laughs> merci, merci beaucoup. Est-ce qu'il y a des questions dans la tête dans l'audience oui. Ah oui, bah, je ne sais pas. Gaber, nous y a pas. Oh, oh maybe uh, among. The, bah. Non Yeah, go ahead. So, it's related to, to the question we discussed. Uh, so uh, there was some kind of uh, formal lemma uh, about the dualizability so somehow. Uh, can, can, can you recall wha what it is? And I think we also discussed with Wager and he had a yes. souped up version of that. Yes. Can, can, can you recall? Yes. Because if, I, uh, if you I want, I can write down the final version of, of those lemma one, two, three. Uh, So, 
then we want we want to give a condition where f is uh, uh, smooth or s. Well, s, s is always always the, uh, the tie. So this this condition, uh, in general, I call this uh, a pseudo product. Because if uh, if G is product of three shifts, mm -hmm. it's automatically have this condition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we have a shift uh, G, have this condition. Uh, and exist map So exists G, this map, this map, T such that uh, the composition um, So it's uh, a lot of condition. <laughs> you need to have a shift, have this map, have this map, and the the composition have this condition. Uh, for example, if if f is dualable, you can take j to be f tensor is dual tensor yeah. itself. So th this was this uh, this case which was uh, which was uh, generalized to monoidal categories, which. Uh, uh -huh. This a dualable, uh, dualizability or dual, dualability. Right? Yeah. So in this one, there's no, no dual. Yeah. Uh, so it generalizes the one with the dual, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. I think this one perhaps generalized too. So a shift. Uh, so this is in all the context. I mean, you think about constructible shift or. Uh, with different different coefficients, or, uh, uh, or even doesn't have to be constructed well. Uh, and inductive limit of contractible uh, shift with any coefficient. Okay. Uh, Perhaps I'm wrong. Okay, so. Maybe uh, we can thank the speaker. Oh, I, ah. I forgot a remark, sorry. I forgot an uh, important remark. <laughs> um, for the conjecture. Uh, there is a student of the Wei Yun called Andu Samo. Uh, he proved the conjecture for the case of Iwaohi level and have some interesting consequence. Yeah. And uh, you will soon see his paper on uh, archive. Okay, merci beaucoup. So <laughs> Thank you.